told you that some of the seemingly smallest facts could change the way you understand weather. We're diving into a few key weather facts that might matter more than you think. As a student pilot, I often overlooked these small details, thinking that they were just trivia for the written exam. But the truth is, understanding these facts can make you a much more confident and knowledgeable pilot. In this video, we will explore three key weather facts that will not only enhance your understanding and performance on the exams, but really improve your real life weather decision making as a pilot. Let's get started with standard atmosphere. Now, this is definitely knowledge that you will see on a test, but it is so much more than just a number to memorize. When we talk about standard atmosphere, we look at both temperature and pressure and the change over a given altitude. At sea level, standard temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and standard pressure is 29.92 inches of mercury. There's also a defined standard lapse rate. For every thousand feet of altitude you gain, you can expect the temperature to drop about two degrees Celsius and the pressure to drop one inch of mercury. Now, there is a common misconception. When I was a student pilot, I thought standard meant the average day. I thought they just took the average of all temperatures across the earth and said, mm, on an average day, you're gonna have 15 degrees Celsius at sea level. However, standard does not mean average. It's just a baseline from which to measure everything else. Think of it like the starting line at a race. In order for each contestant to know how far they run and in what amount of time, there has to be a given start position. It's the same thing with standard atmosphere. This standard temperature and pressure and standard lapse rate are what we compare everything else to. From takeoff performance to cruise data and landing information, every performance calculation that we get is based off of the airplane's performance at standard temperature and atmosphere at sea level. Without this baseline, it would be impossible to calculate and understand your aircraft's performance in real world conditions. Understanding this concept takes you beyond rote memorization. It gives you the tools to make more accurate and informed decisions, whether you're planning a flight or dealing with unexpected conditions. Next, we're talking thunderstorms, an area that every pilot needs to understand well. On a check ride and on your written exam, you will be asked this question, what are the ingredients for a thunderstorm? Those three ingredients are sufficient moisture, unstable lapse rate, and lifting action. This is a classic check ride question that your examiner will ask you. But memorizing them isn't enough. The reason why we want to know what these ingredients are is so that we can apply them and understand where convective activity might take place. For example, a cold front advancing on warmer air will often bring lifting action and an unstable lapse rate. So if you see a cold front advancing on warmer, moist air, you can know the atmosphere is primed for thunderstorms. Understanding this allows you to read weather reports and synoptic and surface analysis charts with much more confidence. Once you understand these three ingredients, you can predict where thunderstorms might form by looking at a surface analysis chart just like a meteorologist. This is the kind of knowledge that makes you not only more successful with your written and practical exams, but allows you to make more safe decisions in the air. By the way, if you wanna test your weather knowledge, check out my check ride weather knowledge quiz at gilbertaviation.com. It's a great way to see if you have enough knowledge to pass the check ride. Last, we're gonna talk about a fundamental physics concept. Air moves from high pressure to low pressure. Think of a birthday balloon. When you blow it up and hold the nozzle, you create high pressure inside compared to the air outside. As you release the nozzle, the air rushes out from high pressure to low pressure. This simple fact explains so much about how air moves in the atmosphere and your airplane. This is not just about weather. It's about understanding how lift is created, about how your systems like a carburetor works, and why it's so important to make sure your fuel caps are secure. When you understand that air moves from high pressure to low pressure, you gain insights that go beyond weather charts. It's knowledge that applies to every flight, every day. And that's the kind of pilot you want to be, the one who understands the why behind every decision. So now you know these three small weather facts and why they really matter. It's time to put that knowledge to action.
Calculate at your local airport what the temperature should be at 6,000 feet above ground level. Next, look at the winds aloft chart and see what that temperature actually is. Take the difference between the two and that's your deviation from ISA. That is what we use for our performance calculations. If you haven't already, be sure to check out that weather knowledge quiz I mentioned earlier. It's a great quick assessment to see if you're ready for the weather portion of your check ride. If these videos are helping you become a more knowledgeable and confident pilot, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Today we covered three small but very important weather facts. Standard atmosphere, thunderstorm ingredients, and how air moves from high pressure to low pressure. These might seem like small details, but they will make a huge impact on your understanding and decision-making as a pilot. Remember that the more you understand about weather, the more comfortable and confident you will be. If this video helped you out, remember to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment below about a weather fact that has been a game changer for you. I'd love to hear your stories. See you next time.